Paul Woodford here, founder of Extra Life, just bringing you a, another video, slightly different this time though. We're gonna bring you a 20 minute one this morning. So I hope you enjoy it. And the same as always with the members, if you get yourself straight on the dashboard and add that to your dashboard. If you're not a member yet, then check us out at extralife.com, Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and uh, get involved. Hope you enjoy it. So here we go. All I want you to do is lie yourself down. <clears throat> arms out and just breathe try and make this area big and then relax it so just breathing in and out really try to make your arms nice and long, your legs long. Really open up the chest. And relax, breathe in. And back out. The first minute is nearly up. And then from there, just wait to roll over. And just come from here, just press as far up as you feel comfy, really, and then come back down. So you might find it's a small movement. Like I said, especially if you've had to spend a lot of time sat at the moment. But if you can go right up and it's not painful, go right up. If it is painful, don't do it. Just come to this kind of movement here. Just start. And back down. Again, I'd exhale on the way up. Breathe in on the way down. But if that throws your breathing out, just make sure you're breathing because this is quite important. Nearly there with this one. And then all I want you to do. Is lie down and bring both legs in if you can here if that feels too tight on your lower back just do one leg and swap halfway through the minute if you can do both do both and then just pull the shoulders back a bit and pull the arms really getting the legs in nice and tight you should feel that opening up the shoulders slightly but you should also feel it running down the front of both legs. It's quite hard to keep a rhythm with your breathing with this one, but do try. Fifteen seconds left. Nearly there. I'll do the next one facing you just to make it easier. Just come up. Sit on your shins and then come up to there. Take a big circle, sit back down. Come up, big circle. If I spin sideways, you'll see as well. I'm really trying to pull the shoulders back, open up the chest, pull the shoulders back, and just get a little bit of movement through the hips as well. So, halfway, so just sit. Rotate. Really pull the arms back. Make yourself as big as you can. Up, back, round. And then from there, what I want you to do is take one leg out to the side. Sit the hands here and just go to sit back. You might not get very far, but you should feel a huge stretch through there. And if that feels too painful, you just come up into more of an all four with the legs stuck out. Be the easiest way to describe it. But if you can sit back, and if you want to really relax into it, you can either go to here or down here with it. But both of those, 
will massively exaggerate that stretch. So just be a bit careful with it. Just enjoy the stretch. About there is quite nice for me. Just keep breathing and chill. Stay nice and relaxed. And then in 10 seconds, I'm gonna pop the other leg out. Well, I'll bring that one in first. And five. So we're gonna do that leg in, that leg out, and just go to sit back. And it might be a bit different on one side to the other. So remember, that will exaggerate it. That will make it even more intense. So the other one, like I said it might be up there. Might be up there. Whichever one feels nice. So it should feel like a nice stretch. Should be painful, just quite a big stretch. Just keep your breathing relaxed and deep. Yeah, if you're stressed at the moment, which many of us are, you'll be breathing quite shallow. Try and breathe right down deep into the lungs. You're nearly there with this one. Then we're gonna I'll spin around sideways, make it more obvious again. We've got options with this one depending on your flexibility. So you're gonna spin to here, and you can just sit back slightly if you wish. Here. And you might feel that running down here quite a lot. You can just, I just widen my legs so I can sit my bum on the floor if you're that flexible. And then you can go elbows. And then you can go right down to here, should you wish. But for some people that will be way too much. So don't just go straight into that. Whatever you do, start just up here and on your tray, on your feet. And then if that feels okay, Widen your feet, drop your bum to the floor, and then just slowly go to whichever point feels nice and comfortable. We're nearly there with this one. If you're in this position, just start to come out of it now. So you're there, swing your feet round, and then we're here. We're just rolling and bringing through. So a roll, bring my soles and my feet together and I lean forward so there if you keep going I'll just show you this way you're just gonna roll and then lean there so roll lean and you should feel that as you lean forward right inside the inner thigh and you might feel a little bit through the lower back as well depending on how tight your lower back is just rock, lean through. You've got 15 seconds left. Just nice and relaxed. Next one, just lie down, hook the leg, hands go underneath it. And then just straighten as far as it wants to. Relax it off again. Straighten and pulling the leg in quite tight so you won't get the range. If the range was out here, get it straight over. It's in quite tight and you'll feel that running down the back of the leg. So just nice and controlled, leg goes up and down and your breathing stays controlled. You should feel that, like I said, right down this part into your hamstring quite a lot. And if that's too intense, then just take the leg a little bit further that way and then carry on with that movement. You're nearly there. 10 more seconds. And then we're going to swap and go off the other leg. So that one goes out, that one comes in, hands go under, nice and a little relaxed, and then just straighten it as much as it wants to be straightened you'll know you'll get to a point where it doesn't want to go any further. And again, nice breathing right into the stomach. Nice and relaxed. And then we've just got one more after this one. So like I said, nice and chilled, especially for all those people who have been too much time sat. 
in the car or the desk or hunched over, which is quite a lot of people at the moment. 20 more seconds on this leg. And the last one, we're gonna be just dropping the legs one way and the arms the other, just getting a rotation into the spine in quite a relaxed way. And then just, what I'd like to do is here, just drop and drop. So my legs are tucked in, they're quite close together. They're quite close to my bum. And then just nice and floppy, just relax. And if going over, right over to the floor, it feels a bit pinchy. Just don't go quite so far. The arms will go, I'm sure, quite easily. The legs might not. Entirely up to you. But just enjoy the stretch. Twenty more seconds. Keep it going for ten more seconds. Just relaxed. And then carefully stand yourselves up. And there's 10 minutes, so we're halfway through. So take a little breather before we kick into the second half of the video. on the floor and just create that bridge position tuck your feet in so you can just hold I'm just feeling my fingers on the back of my ankles squeeze my bum tight and just stay in that position here I'm squeezing as tight as I possibly can And trying to breathe right into this area here. It, it, trying to breathe down into your belly, if that makes sense. Nice deep breaths. You've got 10 seconds left. And then straight over. Straight into this one. Again, just need to hold. If you look up slightly, you'll feel it stretch down the stomach. Just take your deep breaths right down into the pit of your stomach. It's a very chilled one, this one. If you just want to whack some music on and lose yourself for 10 minutes, this is a good one to be doing. Just can't stress how important nice deep long breaths are. You're nearly there with this one as well, 15 seconds. And then we're gonna pop up into this position here. And all I want you to do is just push your calves towards the floor as much as you possibly can. You might find that your knees are bent slightly, as long as you're feeling a stretch down the back of the legs, right down into your calves, then that's all good. If you're slipping on carpet, just readjust your hands. Nearly halfway. You can push back on your shoulders as well, should you wish. And we've got 15 seconds. And then we're gonna pop into a pigeon and just hold the pigeon. Really try and get the legs straight if you can. So pigeon, just to here. We're just gonna go down, drop right down. So if you can see that, 
I've gone here and just drop down head on my hands if you can so once again there just relax you should feel this in the leg that is underneath you if you don't you can just create more of a angle there and just hang back down Just keep breathing, trying to open up those ribs as much as possible. You've got 10 seconds. And then just pop up and swap over. And just tuck it in. Be a bit more obvious on this side for you. Into that side there. And just drop. And if you want to exaggerate, just creep that foot further up. And this here. Breathing nice and deep. Halfway. And whichever feels comfy on this back foot, toes up, toes down. You've got 15 seconds, just breathing away. Feeling that stretch right into the hip and bum, cheek on the leg that's tucked under you. And then the next one, roll right back onto your back. And just drop the legs one way and let the arms go the other way. Right over, keep your head up or you can turn your head in the direction of your hands. And you should feel a nice stretch running, could be anywhere, kind of down this arm, all the way down here, into the bum and across that leg. Still, as you can probably see, breathing really deeply, but relaxed. Fifteen seconds, then we're just going to swap sides. Five. And just going to go the other way. Just create that nice stretch, like I said, running down this arm potentially through the back into here and down. And you might feel it in different places on the opposite sides. Don't worry, that's cool. Absolutely fine. Big breaths here, up and down. Just keep it nice and rotated. Nice deep breaths, 20 seconds. We're going to come up and just hold there. You can see it's quite an angle. This leg's quite far back. We get a lovely stretch running from this knee right the way up. You can look up and open the lungs. Past halfway, just keep breathing, keep that stretch running straight down this side. Good 10 minutes to do if you've got a full on day or if you're about to start a full on day. And then just a straightforward swap. So that one goes back, that one comes out, you lean in. And then you just get the arms nice and tall. 
Open up this as much as you can and feel the stretch down the one with the leg that's back. Nearly halfway. And then we've got two more stretches after this one. So just pushing into that knee, creating that lovely stretch, and then just breathing. 10 seconds. And then the next one, just stand, feet together. Don't worry if you need to bend your knees a little bit, it's fine. But just hang towards the floor. Don't worry if you can't reach the floor. You're looking for a stretch down here. You're not looking to force this stretch, just enjoy it. And it will probably run all the way up the legs and round the back. Just grab all your toes if you want to. Relax the head and just chill. Got 20 seconds. And then we're going to go, I'll do it this way, really wide with the legs. Just link your arms. Just hang. Let the head go floppy. And just relax, you'll feel a big stretch in this area here. Keep that breathing nice and chilled. Past halfway, you're nearly there. Ten seconds. And then bring yourself up very carefully. You might feel a bit lightheaded if you do. Sit yourself down and let it subside. Well done, though. that's 10 minutes done. Very chill one, like I said. Um, if you are a member, I keep saying, get on your dashboard and add this to it. If you're not a member, please join us. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, check out xlife.com and get yourself set up with your personal dashboard and uh, join the community. I'll see you again soon. Cheers.